<laughs> early on when we were practicing this, like um, I wasn't very good at communicating how I was feeling. So I just stonewall. So like I don't, some guys listening to this might be familiar. We're like, you don't know what to say, but you don't want to say anything bad. So you just say nothing. <laughs> and so I just like, I'd like, cut, I'd just go like stone cold. And then she'd be like, you're impossible to be around at the moment. Cause like, you know, we can't even communicate. So it started off. Like, because in those moments, traditionally, I'm a runner. So I just, like, I just piss off and I'd be like, yeah, see ya, bye. <laughs> and uh, which was a behavior that I vowed at the start of our relationship to never do. So I'd be mad, have no idea how to communicate what I'm feeling, but I'd never fucking leave. I'd be sitting in our apartment, which is a shoebox, a miserable fuck, and just sitting there going, until I could figure out what it was or enough time had passed to express it. And then eventually that turned into being able to actually articulate our feelings because, you know, if you hadn't left long enough, if, if you had consistency in your behavior of staying, then it created a sense of safety for your relationship to know that even if the shit was hitting the fan, we still are here. Like there's still physical presence, even though we can't communicate at the moment, because uh, we we're not very good at that, I'm still here, and I and I, I I'm still fighting for the relationship, but I just don't know how to say it. And so I think the physical presence, especially as a ma- as a masculine man, like part of your role is even if you don't know how you're feeling, just don't leave. <laughs> like you can't screw anything up if you just don't leave. It's the leaving that triggers the feminine response of like. Um, fuck, he's going to leave me. I'm going to be a man. Like, and it triggers all the emotional stuff that's even harder to deal with. So as a masculine man, if you don't know what to say, just don't leave. Just have physical prox- proximity until you have the space to figure out what you are actually feeling. Mm. And I think that was, you know, that was part of our unwritten ground rules that like, we don't even really think about it anymore. But when we started, that was it. Um, was there any I others? think as well, um, if you are going to leave, it's not a matter of like, if you, I'm leaving, I'm out of here. It's, you know what, babe, like I feel that I can't really communicate what it is or it hasn't even landed for me how I'm feeling about this right now. So I'm going to go away and think about it. Let's, you know, touch on this in a couple of hours or something like that. I'm going to go have a coffee or something. And, you know, that's worked for us really, really well where it's felt like something that, you know, sometimes you just need that for men cave time or for women. We don't have the cave time as such, but we still do need some time sometimes for things to land. And um, that's been really helpful for us. (laughs) 